Eric Snyder's lyrics here is something a little bit different for the channel here today. We actually have something a little bit different for the channel here today. I'm going to be starting my wish list series. If you guys don't know what that is, it's when I talk about things I would like to see to be added into games or projects or whatever. It can even be websites. It can be anything that, that has constant updates to it. So today, it's going to be a Mario Truck Simulator. And if you didn't already know from this very obvious title, it's a truck simulator based in America. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious. I have 10 things written on this list that I would like to see in Mario Truck Simulator. So before we get started, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like a Mario Truck Simulator because who doesn't? And make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. Click the little bell button on the side to be alerted for more content like this. So let's get started with 10 features I would love to see in America Shock Simulator. What this is going to be, this first thing, is going to be an eat mode. So to further explain, if you play America Shock Simulator, you know we have multiple things to keep you on your toes, such as gas, such as um, it Depending on the driving mode that you play, you got multiple different things like air pressure, all these different aspects that you have to keep in control and make sure you don't, you know, overdo. And one of those things that has nothing to do with the truck itself, but rather you as the driver, is the sleep need. Um, the sleep need is based on the real life law. Hey guys, it's Lurex and I'm editing the video. Keep in mind that I recorded the video at 3 a.m. And what I said is not true. The 10 hour thing is not a law, it is a regulation. It's not a law, it is a regulation. Just wanted to put that type of correction out there. That American truck drivers have to follow where they have to take at least 10 hours of rest time. So if let's say you're in the middle of delivery, going from like let's say, st louis to new york you're gonna have to take a 10 hour 10 hour break um depending on when your last break was or whatever it's gonna have to be 10 hours in american truck simulator you have to follow that law as well you can easily turn it off in the settings it's not it's not like a hard-coded thing into the game but it is a challenge. It is a barrier because this is a very easy game. You're literally driving from point A to point B. And your biggest challenge isn't that big. It's literally just time itself. Which you can easily work your way out of by working with external contracts instead of local deliveries. I mean, not local deliveries. I'm going to talk about in-game deliveries. But with all that on the side sleep need is a thing that you will have to work around if you don't want to turn that setting off and you want to stay a little semi realistic in the game and like i said earlier it's not a lot of challenges this game is very unchallenging so i think adding something like eating need where you will have to go to a local store in the town or at the rest stop they have like uh, water fountains and things like that um, I'm not asking for eating and thirst but just eating thirst can be added into the eating part and it'll work the same way as sleeping obviously not you know 10 hours at a time but different at a different draining rate than sleeping well sleeping it's it goes up so we get we get that point though um, at a different draining rate than sleeping and it, I think the It'd be cool. It'd be cool. And you might be wondering, how would we be able to do that? How would anyone be able to actually get out of the truck? Because you can't. Unless you're shopping for a truck and you can go in first person mode. Not even first person mode, we're just in camera mode. Not even in first person mode, we're just in camera mode to walk around your truck to see the designs before you buy it. Besides for that, and using the console in game to do the exact same thing, which is pretty janky, just wanted to put that out there. You would need to actually be able to get out of your truck to go eat, to go fill your eating meter, your eating need. And that 
goes to my second point, my second one feature, which is a walking mode, an official, official, natively supported walking mode, and not a third party tool, not a mod, not a plugin, not any third party resources, not even something native into the game, like going into, um, like any native workarounds like going into the console and typing in your camera settings so you can go into first person that's not even first person you have no feet you know, have no hands because there's no character model for it and while the character model that's in your truck that you see in third person isn't as detailed i think that's pretty good they can use that model i wouldn't argue i wouldn't have an issue with that i guess for other people you know, but I would have no issue if the developers wanted to use that model that's already in your truck, so it fits your profile and everything, to use in for walking mode or walking feature or whatever you want to call it. And if for whatever reasons it has like limitations, I wouldn't mind. Like if it, if if you can only go so far away from your truck, let's say like let's say like a hundred feet, you can't go farther than a hundred feet from your truck. I'm fine with that. Um, most restaurants, parking spaces is gonna have a lot of stuff within that hundred feet radius. And with birders and the invisible walls, it can work the same way. If you walk to the birder, you can't walk, you can't walk through that invisible wall. Actually, obviously, at least you add mods and stuff, but natively speaking, you wouldn't be able to do that. So the same can be applied for walking mode. Next on the list is trailer heights slash bridges if you're in like a why well they i wouldn't even say that that i don't know i was about to say something, say something real stupid bro <laughs> i was about to say something real stupid but um trailer heights and bridges you normally will see a sign on the lower on the bottom level that says clearance 15 feet 25 feet the ability to have different um, trailer heights. And again, this may already be a thing. I have not noticed it, been playing it since 2017. 2016 illegally, but we ain't gonna talk about that though. 2018, been playing a Minecraft Simulator since 2018. That's when I actually bought the game. And I would say I haven't noticed anything majorly like major differences that made me have to be like okay i have to like think about if i can go under this bridge or not yeah hope i was playing that well because it's like three o'clock hey yo man i'm very tired you can literally see it in my eyes i'm very tired it's actually two things we go with the first thing seasons now again this may be difficult to actually judge if the developers want to do this or not because we're again we're still on the west coast i think the most uh, eastern state that we have right now is um montana with the exception of like idaho, idaho montana um and like those those states that's kind of getting into like mountain time the majority of our states are is in PS in um is on the west coast like literally on the west coast so in the latter parts that we go into in the game that we're allowed to go into don't have a lot of weather variety except for sunny sunny and rain rain so it's not a lot of variety there. The fifth feature I want is actual weather effects. I want hydroplaning when it's super rainy outside and it's super tough to drive. You gotta be careful. Um, when it, and kind of matching up with the seasons feature I did I had when it's super snowy outside. I want it to get icy so it's hard to, to drive in the game. Like we need these extra challenges to make it a little bit more difficult because right now it's just insanely too easy like like i think personally in my own experiences the hardest challenge in this game is working around the ai traffic and that's another point another point in the thing but we ain't, we ain't there yet we ain't there so don't worry about that you're, you're, you're getting a little too nosy 
for just one second. I know we were talking about, you know, 10 winning features, all that stuff. It's cool. It's cool. Just don't skip, especially if you're in the market for a gaming share. So, truckers, we all know, they spend long, long periods of time, like hours, in their chair. And a lot of times, they'll be highly uncomfortable, but they can't really do anything about it because they're going 65, 70 miles on the highway. So, but you are a gamer. There's a difference. You're sitting still, static. You're not moving multiple hours, multiple hours, multiple miles per hour on a on an interstate. So you can move around. You can try to be comfortable, but don't really first sit around. If you're not comfortable, go get a new chair. And with chairs for gaming, you can get 10% off with my promo code, Rexy. And everyone's happy. You support the channel. You support me. We're friends, right? You, you support me. And you can get 10% off on your next purchase. So head over to the link in the description. Pin comment. I think in a title card. I think. No, I don't have access to the link title cards yet. I mean, if you subscribe and, you know, watch my videos, maybe hopefully I can be a partner with YouTube. But until then, we don't have access to link title cards over here. So let's say you want to, you know, do your thing, help a boy out over here. We won't have access to that. But Chairs for Gaming, Rexy Code, Rexy Code, promo code, Rexy, get 10% off on your next purchase. They have chairs, they have like other little stuff. I think they even have desks. I think they even have desks there. So go check it out again. Link will be in the description below and the pin comment. Next, next thing is a bigger like mode with multiple things with three, with like three or four things, and this is like an advanced mode. And this will also be included with the walk mode if that ever becomes a thing. You actually having to get out of your truck and press a key button and look, a cool little animation or even a cutscene, even a cutscene can play um, of you changing your tires, like your character model changing your tire tires, and that would be cool. That'd be nice. I mean, they have cutscenes in the game, like um, when you buy your first garage, a little cool little cutscene plays. I think you can even skip it if you wanted to. So they have the ability to create cutscenes in the Mega Truck Simulator in the, in the game engine. So that would be cool if they added that, you know, little feature to walk out of your truck with walk mode, as I mentioned earlier. Um, this would be like an add-on or a, a subcategory or whatever of walk mode. Maybe add the ability of tires be, being able to go flat. Let's say you um, hit something or you roll over something like glass or whatever and your tire goes flat and the other two ideas is similar like style like getting out of your truck and doing something in the cutscene place or whatever and the second thing with that would be hooking your trailer and the last thing with that is filling up your gas okay so I I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be frankly honest with you guys I don't I really don't. Um, but the next feature would be something that we kind of already have. I even have in my game, and that is traffic control. And I have them both mods in my game right now. But I would love to see that be a native thing in the game, where you can go to your settings and you can you have a dial. They have two things. They have a dial that you can slide in to be like I want absolutely no traffic or i want the most amount of traffic that my computer can handle and another thing can be the like variety so i don't know about you guys but i really don't like seeing like sometimes i'll be in especially in the city it was nothing but other trucks on the road so it would be cool if like the game had a setting where you can be like oh i want more cars than trucks or i want more trucks than cars oh i want no trucks or i want no cars just i'm pretty sure this is just a me thing if i'm being completely honest but yeah i just don't like seeing sometimes it'd be like nothing but trucks on the road and it's like where's the people at 
I understand this is like in the factory area of town, but like I'm be like in downtown Las Vegas. It's like where's the cars? Like the traffic itself would be very, very large and very accurate, but what's inside of the traffic isn't accurate. Okay, the next thing is visual damage. And I will and I would really, really love to see this. And um it doesn't have to be anything super crazy like i'm not talking about like gmod here or like that other game where you like crash cars and you know go super crazy like i'm not talking about that but i'm just talking about little dents here and there in your truck when you damage it you know that'd be cool another quality of life thing that i would love to see not really much to talk about or add to that feature idea but it'll be a cool thing to to have to see but the ninth feature I would love to see is road, road quality. Now, we do have different road types, like we have dirt roads. Um, sometimes when you're driving on the highway, you can see, like in the game, in the game driving on the highway, you can see the, the highway changes colors to simulate road quality. But the controller vibration or anything like that, or just having to like control your vehicle, like, you know, it goes crazy look for like a split little second. That would be cool to have like potholes and and all these different things that makes a, a rotor or even highway worse or better. So the last thing, last thing, we're finally at the bottom after like 30 minutes of shooting. The last thing that I would love to see is a pr uh, permanent multiplayer mode. Um, personally, for my own reasons, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna spill my my business here, but for personal reasons, I don't use Trucker MP. So let's just say I was very happy when developers announced Convoy Mode. If you don't know what Convoy Mode is, it's basically just a native multiplayer feature in the game. You have different servers, and uh, if you and your friend have the same mod, you can even, you know, you'd be like, hey, bro, like. Here's my mods. Download these. He's like, okay. Here's my mods. Download the download these. You make sure they work together, and you guys can literally play in the same server with the same mods. Like it's pretty awesome. Like with actual traffic, almost it's almost perfect, with exception of one major thing. It's not permanent. I can be high. I can be the biggest idiot on the planet right now. Cause I have not played Convoys in weeks, in literal months. But the last time I checked, it's not permanent. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. That is going to be my ten reasons. <laughs> okay, I, I, I was doing a challenge too much right there. Um, that would be my ten hope for or wish list or whatever you want to call it, features for a Mega Truck Simulator. My most 10 most wanted features. This is a very hard video to title, but um, 10 features that I will want to see in a Mega Truck Simulator. That's the winner right there, but I will see you guys next time. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like content like this. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And click the little bell button if you want to be alerted for more content like this. I'm Rex. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.